that was epic, wasn't it? Hi guys, how's it going? So today uh, I wanted to talk about uh, an idea of God as a refiner. And uh, we're going to have some fun here in a second with some special guests that are going to just have a blast with an activity we're going to do. But I want this to be in the back of your mind while you're watching us goof around and, and make a big mess uh, right here on this table. God sees things in you uh, that aren't like him. And God wants to get rid of those things. Let me read this uh, passage. This is from 2 Corinthians 7. This is right at the beginning. And here's what it says. Dear friends, we have these promises from God. So let us make ourselves pure from everything that makes our bodies and spirits impure. Let us be completely holy. We want to honor God. Friends, I don't know about you, but uh, I want to honor God. And... Sometimes what that means is not just doing the right things, but getting rid of the wrong things. Uh, what a refiner does is they uh, put heat on something uh, to make it more pure and to melt away the things that are impure. And that's what God wants to do with our hearts. In Psalm 51, this is verse 10, it says this. You've probably heard this before. God created me... Blah, blah, blah. This is Psalm 51, 10. It says this. God, create a pure heart in me. Give me a new spirit that is faithful to you. As you're watching what we're about to do, it's, it's a lot of fun, but it's also kind of a metaphor for what we want God to do with our bodies and with our minds and with our spirits. I hope this week that you spend some time thinking about the things that you need to let go of in order to have a, mu a more pure heart, to have a more pure soul, uh, so that uh, God can really do all of the work and make you an even better Christian, an even better uh, follower who's building the kingdom right here. So with that said, keep that in the back of your mind. We're about to do one of my all-time favorite things. Let's carve some pumpkins. We are carving pumpkins. Yay! It's happy Halloween, first of all, folks. So, I'm awkward. I want you to name this pumpkin. Um, what's his name? Johnny Cake. Your pumpkin's name is Johnny Cake. Oh, yeah. Oh, I hope so. Hey, actually, will you turn that pumpkin around for us? Flip him. All right, this pumpkin is brought to you by Indian Hills. What's the knife? Uh, be somewhere on that table. What are you going for today for your design? What do you think? I have literally no clue what's... Well, what, what are you thinking? Um, a face. This is Johnny Cake. All right, well, start... What are you going to start on for Johnny Cake's eyes? What are you going to start on? Um, if you draw a face, where do you usually start? Near the top. Near the top. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start that. Okay. Good. No, no, it's all right. We're, I know we're not done yet. I just want to check in on that? the progress. What is that? Flip it around. I want to see it. What is that? What is that? What did you do so far? I was trying to make the eye, but then I failed terribly. So That's I'm okay. Trying to Flip it back around and start on the other eye. Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing now? Is the other eye in that direction, not this direction? Huh? What, were you carving oh. Johnny Cake's left or right eye? I don't know. <laughs> So, uh, the way I look at carving... Why is it started? It's going, yeah. Hi. Er, er, hi. <laughs> hey. The way I look at carving stuff, especially like pumpkins, uh, you had a whole pumpkin, you just need to get rid of what shouldn't be there, right? And that's what you're doing now. Let me see a, a, a snapshot of what you got. A little bit more. Uh, so your eyes are square, I like that. You think your nose is too big? Why? This is what we're dealing with. So far, this is Johnny Cake from the famous uh, novel and movie, The Outsiders. Flip, flip them right around and keep going. Okay, well, while you're doing that, 
Um, I'm reading something from Malachi. Mm -hmm. To refine means to remove impurities or unwanted elements from a substance, typically as part of an industrial process. Um, thank you. Oh. But in this case, we are refining this pumpkin to reflect what we want it to reflect. We want it to look like who? Johnny Cake. Johnny Cake. Even though I don't know what he looks like, Reed just told me to do it. <laughs> Here I go. How do you? Uh, my finger. Uh, I'm getting my finger. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a thing we thought we'd have to worry about. <laughs> the pumpkin for sure ate his finger. Can I? Can I sound like this? Is that okay? Sure. <laughs> why, why, why did you do that <laughs> I don't know. Well, I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. Just be careful, okay? Yeah. All right, here's verse 2. But who can live through the day when he comes? Who will be left standing when he appears? He will be like a fire that makes things pure. Remember we were talking about refining? Yeah. So that's with, uh, with metals. You can, uh, you can refine them so that they become more pure. Mm -hmm. He will be like soap that makes things clean. You guys hopefully know about that. Yeah. Um, he will act like one who makes silver pure. Um, so when we talk about stuff like that, we're talking about um, God kind of holding us up and saying that uh, in order to be a part of God's kingdom, in, in order to, to serve God, we've got to kind of do the things that God wants us to do. We've got to look like Christians, don't we? Not just on the outside, though, huh? Mm -hmm. We've got to look like Christians on the inside, too, don't we? So if God was to hold you up to a fire and get rid of things that he didn't that he doesn't want uh, people to his people to be right he, certain aspects of a person he doesn't want what are some things that that God might want burned out of you? Um, you want me to get you started? Me being a class clown. Being a class clown. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what about this? What about uh, being selfish? You think God wants us to be selfish? I'm not selfish. Probably not. You, did you say I'm not know. selfish? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's something my mom have to answer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just spinning past. Well, I will see her soon, so that's okay. Sorry, everybody. I'm just trying to get a good angle on this. Didn't think I ahead with the camera angles when it came to pumpkin carving. Yeah, okay, so... um. What's some other stuff that you might want to get out of you? Ooh, that was a good one. Spending too much time on video games. Yeah. What about uh, what about some stuff that he wants to make sure that is left in you? What's some good stuff that God wants to make sure is in you? Um. God is good, right? Yeah. Tell me something good that God wants you to be. Um. That's better a better person in general. A better person in general. Um, follow the Ten Commandments. Follow the Ten Commandments. There's one that God says something you should do. And Be nice. To your... Huh? Your, your parents. What about your parents? Oh, um, respect them. Yeah? Cheating. All right, let me see where you're at now. Let me see. I think we're about done. I think, I think he looks kind of bad. Well, let's see. Let's see. Welcome, his name is Jack Cage. Set him, set him down, set him down. Because it's cool how his like teeth kind of dangle. Let me get a better, let me get a better. <coughs> so, Redmond. Yup. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. What was the hardest part about making what was in your brain come out of this pumpkin? Does it look exactly like what you thought it would look like? Definitely not. Not exactly. But you you took let me see it again. Let me let the camera see it. The people want to know. So you took away the parts that didn't belong. And you came to this jack-o'-lantern. Right? Mm -hmm. And if those pieces were still there, it would just be a pumpkin still, wouldn't it? It wouldn't be as fun, would it? Yeah? Well tell you what, you can keep that jack-o'-lantern. You can keep what's his name again? Johnny Cake? Uh, thank you so much for being an illustration today. Bye. Bye.